everybody it's Chris from prepared mind 101 gonna do one last video today and I know everybody likes blade videos so that's what we're gonna do uh, this is further proof that something does not have to be expensive to be totally badass and what we're talking about here is my choice my favorite machete this is a Tramontina which is Brazilian made 18 inch machete with the wood handles and guess what I did to it you're right I modified it uh, first I modified the sheath I didn't like all this extra up here I flipped it over so it'd be a little more low profile I can hook a cord to it sling it over my shoulder whatnot uh, I, the handle comes unfinished and rather uncomfortable and blocky so I spent some time you can't really see it because I've got it wrapped at the moment but I spent some time uh, shaping it uh, getting a nice good uh, feel in my hand and then once that was done I stained it and put a light coat of polyurethane on it then I wrapped the handle with some uh, hockey tape and took one of those I think they're called turn grips it's a tennis racket grip it's a tube about this big and you just slide it on there cut it off and then you've got a perfect grip now of course like I said I gotta modify everything I did not like how far swept up it went I wanted something that gave just, you know, a little more forward piercing power. So I took my Dremel tool, uh, marked it out in a cutting wheel, and cut that down and gave it kind of a little bit of a clip point. I will say these take some work when you get them, uh, sharpening them. And for whatever stupid reason, they don't even hardly sharpen this forward part at all. So I have worked my butt off to get this thing sharp but now it is crazy sharp. Now, what I love about this thing is it is it's just so light. It is so fast, and it's just not gonna wear you out. Now, I got this because, you know, back when was it, two years ago, I went to Survival Basics at the Pathfinder School, and talking to Dave Canterbury about machetes, and he said, if you want my advice, if, you, if you're gonna get a machete, you cannot do better than machetes that are made in Brazil or El Salvador. It's, ugh, El Salvador. And uh, he was right. Uh, Tramontina and Imacasa, uh, two of the best machete ma manufacturers there are. Now this machete right here, this 18 inch Tramontina with the sheath only cost me 15 bucks. And I got it from a place that I've come to really like. Uh, it's machetespecialist.com. If you want to get a foreign made machete, uh, specifically South American made, there's a lot more uh, brands out there uh, in any length, go there first because they've got the best selection, they've got really fast shipping, they take PayPal, it's uh, priority mail, it's the perfect package. So I think it cost me shipped about 20 bucks and I swear they got it to me just as fast as my Amazon Prime did. Like two days after I ordered it, I had the machete in my hand. So I was very impressed with the customer service. So I'm going to do a quick little sharpness test on here since I got it out. Got to do the old we are we, we all juggle knives test. I have not tested this since I sharpened it. So let's see. Missed a little bit there at the edge. My bad. Yeah, it's a little sharp. So, this is my favorite knife for cutting things. Well, it's not a knife, machete, but as you can see, if you were going to go fight zombies or, you know, Mexican guys with machetes like the movie Machete, or, you know, I'm rambling now, but. If you were going to use this for anything but doing, you know, cutting through a bush, this is your pick. Not something big and heavy. This is super fast. And you can get it super sharp. And it's super cheap. You don't need to pay $100 for something that is good. I mean, this, this is way better than cold steel machetes, in my opinion, for something simple. Uh, they do got some good stuff coming out now. So I don't want to take that away from them. But for the money, this is where it's at. I'm just curious about this one. These bottles are a little bit.
bit shorter. I don't know where my wife got them, but it is very difficult to get these without them sliding, but I'm going to try anyway. Not even really putting a big swing into it, just kind of half arm flick of the elbow. So sharp, deadly, effective, and covered in ice. That is how freaking cold. Uh oh, look out. Memory got full. It gave me no indication that it happened, but hey, I recorded a lot of video today, a lot more than I usually do. So I didn't realize it would get full that fast, but. Luckily, the brown Santa will be bringing me a nice uh, fat 32 gigabyte uh, high speed SD card for my future videos today. So I was just about to wrap it up anyway, just pointing out that it's so cold out that as soon as I was cutting those bottles, it was just instantly freezing to the blade. So that about wraps it up. Just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing uh, my videos. Please leave comments, subscribe. Uh, I put up videos all the time. Uh, leave the comments and let me know what you think I did right, what you think I could do better. If you if you see a video and you see an important piece of information that you think I should have put in there and I forgot, uh, leave a comment about it. I'll shoot an addendum and uh, make sure that you get credit for it. So that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, I went way over my shooting time and I'm going to be working on these videos for a while. So. Thanks for watching. Definitely go to machetespecialist.com. Pick yourself one of these uh, machetes up. You will totally love it once you put in the work and get the thing sharp. So have a good day.